Hey guys, Rex here, and I've got a quick video for you today, and it's about my new filter that I made. Now, uh, the last time I made a filter, I had no idea really what I was doing because I didn't know any programming languages, but over the past while, I've been learning Python, which is the language that MCEdit filters happen to be programmed in, and so now I've made one that's quite simple, but quite useful, uh, revol revolving around command blocks. Now, I've set up an example here, but basically what the filter does is you put a placeholder in the command block, a placeholder text in the command block, and you enter in the filter options a range of numbers that you want um, to replace the placeholder with, and it will generate a bunch of command blocks that will ha each have a different number in them depending on the range you put in. Um, so here's a little example I have here. So there's a fill clock here. And let's say I want, uh, this should be a negative one, sorry, it just occurred to me. Um, let's say I want a scoreboard objective that is the slot of my hotbar that I have a blaze rod in. Um, actually, you know what we can do? Let's make it so it's our slot in our inventory. So any slot in our inventory that we have a blaze rod in, it will be displayed on the side. And now this is useful for quite a few situations, um, but I can't, uh, I'm not going to explain any right now because it would take a little while, but let's say we want to do that. So first what we're going to do is here we have our fill clock, I'm going to make it longer, but we have, it's going to set our rod slot to the negative one. So that's going to be the default, that means they do not have a blaze rod in their inventory. And then, um, we're, and we're using negative one instead of zero because the first slot here is slot zero. And then basically, what we're going to do is we're going to set it to zero if in their inventory they have a blaze rod and the slot is zero. But we want to repeat this command block a bunch of times, once for each slot. And instead of cloning the command block, oops, I even got this objective wrong. It's supposed to be rod slot. There we go. Um, so basically instead of just using control pick block or whatever and then putting a bunch and then changing the number for each of them, which is a pain, uh, what we can do is we can actually run my filter. So instead of zero, I'm going to put any placeholder I want. I'm just going to make it placeholder. You can make it whatever you want as long as you don't have it anywhere else in the command uh, because then it will replace that too. So I want placeholder. So it's going to put it in the slot here. It's going to be placeholder. And then the rod slot is also going to be uh, placeholder. The scoreboard or the score that we're going to be setting it to is also placeholder. Uh, so now I'm going to hop into MCEdit and I'm going to show you uh, how to actually run the filter. Alright, so now that we are in MCEdit, all we have to do is we have to select the command block we want to run the filter on, which was that one. And then we have to select filter and then we want to select my command block number range filter uh, from the list here. And then we want to uh, set the minimum value to whatever we want, which in this case is 0, and the maximum value to whatever we want, which in this case is 35. And then the interval, you can set this to 2, and if you did that, for example, it would pick 0, 2, 4, 8, blah, 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 all the way up to the maximum value. Um, and it does use the Python range function to do that, so I don't know what it does exactly if you have, like, an odd number here and you set it to 2 or something, but um, anyways, in the placeholder... Uh, you input your placeholder, so we, we, we put placeholder in the command blocks. So, now we're going to hit filter, and it's going to make a ton of command blocks. Okay, that doesn't look like a ton, but it, once I press save, it's going to show all of them. So that's all of our command blocks. So now I'm going to go back into Minecraft, and we're going to see what exactly this contraption does. Okay, so here are our command blocks here. I've also increased the length of length of the fill clock because originally I was just going to do the hotbar slots, but then I decided to do the whole inventory. And you'll notice at the side, uh, my rod slot objective is 8 because I have it in slot number 8. Um, so as you can see here, all we have... Oops, wrong one. This one was the first one, so we've got 0 here. We've got 1 here, 1 here, 2 here, 2 there. And then if we go all the way down, it just goes up until we've got 35 and 35. So you'll notice that if you look at the side here, I don't know if you can see it, but where it gets set to negative 1 if we don't have a blaze rod in our inventory. But any slot that we have it in, it's going to be set to that 
slot ID. So that is what the filter does. Uh, you can use that for so many different things and if you work with command blocks you probably know that putting in all these numbers by yourself is such a pain. So I did make a filter to do it. Um, if you're wondering what the placement of the command blocks is, it does them in the plus x direction. So if that that's towards positive x, so if here's the one I start with, it goes uh, each one is positive x or plus one x from the previous one. Um, but that is all I have for you for today. Uh, of course, the download link to the filter will be in the description. Uh, feel f please feel free to take a look at the code if you would like to. But as always, a like would be much appreciated. And follow me on Twitter at NanoRexMC for more updates. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Rex out.